I told my grandson, this is the valley. This is where it all began. Over 100 years ago, the first Japanese people from Wakamatsu settled here in America. As a young man, I always wanted to see Europe. I became an apprentice steward aboard the Yomaru. The six-month voyage carried me halfway around the world. First port was Shanghai. We went to Calcutta, Suez, Port Said, Marseille, London. For a young man like me, it was a fantastic journey. World War I had just ended, so business was pretty good. I made 60 cents an hour, six dollars a day. I was young then and did nothing but work. I was like a miser. Every night I would wonder, do I have the 10,000 yen yet? From the day after I arrived in Los Angeles, I have been a gardener. As I look back, I don't know how I did it. Riding a bicycle with a lawnmower tied on the back, the edges strapped to the front, and a rake in one hand. Very often, little boys would throw stones and chant, Jap, Jap, as I rode down the street. We were given five days to evacuate. We knew the authorities were arresting all the community leaders. So I packed my bags and waited. Akira was five years old. We bought woolen socks since we heard we might be sent to Montana, a cold place. It was about six in the morning when two FBI agents came to pick me up. The second-hand merchants surrounded us like ants. They knew we had to sell. They took advantage of the situation and got things for almost nothing. Over 30 years have passed, but still it is difficult to comprehend. Imagine 110,000 of us behind barbed wire. Men, women, and children. I feel a special sadness for those who never returned. We people imprisoned in Manzanar built a monument for those who did not survive the ordeal. It still stands today. I have been blessed with a strong, healthy body and still feel young in spirit. So when friends and relatives come to me for advice and counsel, I am surprised, very often a little embarrassed, to think that I, Harukichi, a village bad boy, has now become an elder.